Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to a brand new episode of WWE Supercard episode 197. We've got quite a couple things to do in this episode, and we've got a small run. Um, so the preview for uh, the solo RTG has dropped for the week, and not throwbacks, not Hall of Fame cards, not even a goddamn Flash RTG. It's really disappointing, it's just... It pretty much confirms that we've got another event card coming up in WrestleMania 33 tier. It's not even the last one. It is getting beyond boring. I can't, I can't be asked anymore. But yeah, I, it's just ridiculous. It honestly is ridiculous. But yeah, so nothing special in here. Uh, pretty decent undercards for people who obviously are still, you know, making their way up to, to having the best cards and event cards. So John Cena. Ultimate and a WrestleMania Undertaker. I mean, Elite Big Show is not great, um, but yeah, most cards are pretty decent. So that is the RTG. Uh, starts in eight hours. But apart from that, we've got a couple other things to do in today's episode. Um, the first thing we've got to do, and we'll do that straight away, and we'll do that now, and that is none other than May Young is ready to be proed finally. Um, yeah, a long, long time. Two weeks, oh, it's been two weeks, isn't it? So yeah, let's go ahead and just confirm, but I'm pretty sure we're all good. 50, no all tokens used, I mean, and 40 on every stat. Same there. We are go. We are good. We are good to combine. Mae Young, what an awesome card. There she is, proed. Unfortunately, no cool picture for her, um, but yeah. That's just the way it is. Let's go find this May Young. And also, I will show you a little bit uh, further into this, but I have done a mini kind of clean out in my uh, in my catalog, and I'm quite happy about it. So we will just get rid of all the other cards here that we don't want, but there are some some other cards that we might might make the decision to cut and to and to maybe um, you know train away and and use up, you know, because. If we're going into a new tier, like ultimate event cards, those kind of things, they're going to need to go. So 26 out of 55 on this May. We'll go with this Chris Jericho card. Should finish it up to 55, and it does. And she is obviously toughness and charisma. Toughness, charisma, and what else? Power. And then we'll go with two in speed. Okay, let's confirm that. Brilliant. She is now one of my best cards. Well, one of... Pretty decent for sure. Uh, will she be better than Bailey? I don't know. No idea. We have currently got 95 cards. Okay, so under enhancements, this is what we've got. Okay, we've got five WrestleMania enhancements. Under females, um, we've obviously got all our WrestleMania females. So our two events: May Young, Bailey. Then we've got three normal WrestleMania pros: Bailey, Sasha, and Carmella. We've got Alexa Bliss from Ultimate Event still, and then we've got loads of singles in WrestleMania Tier Fusion, Nia Jax and Carmella, Hall of Fame Sensational Sherry, and then regular Alexa Bliss, Naomi, Mickey James, and my recent and my last pull, and I will be swapping Nakamura out for this Nikki Bella, um, well, for the next video for sure. I was so happy when this happened because I have not pulled a single Ultimate Nikki Bella and obviously until I pulled this card, not a single WrestleMania Nikki. And I was just like, wow, well, I, you know, I was trying, I was going through all the WrestleMania females I still haven't, I still haven't gotten. I was like, Asuka, Charlotte, Becky Lynch, Nia Jax, uh, not regular, you know, I've got Nia Jax's um, fusion, but, and then I could just literally, it took me like a while and I was like, there's someone else. And it was like, it, it hit me, it was like, Nikki Bella, and I had completely forgotten about her, and that she was still in this tier. So, Nikki Bella, I pulled her, and then I've put in the Season 1 image of uh, the Season 1 Legacy, which one is it? It's Legacy Survivor with the title, um, the Divas Championship as well, so that's a bit of a change, and it's a pretty cool picture, I really like it. So that's my last pull, and then, female-wise, we've just got Hardens that we're collecting, uh, an elite, and then, yeah, like, Sasha Banks is another one, you know, we still need an elite and an ultimate pro version of her, but yeah, that's how I'm doing in females, and now the big clean out has happened in my supports, I've only got Sensational Sherry and Freddie Blassie, I was like, look, every time I hit the autofill, it puts in 
uh, poor Heyman and like Sensational Sherry, I think, or, or some some combination like that. And it never puts in these two, which are the compatible ones. And I was really, it was really getting annoying for me. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna keep Paul Heyman because if I get a Jimmy Hart, I can have Jimmy Hart, Paul Heyman um, manager support manager compatible managers because I love those two together more than I would these two. But you know, the, it's the same thing at the end of the day. And I was just like, screw it, time to clean it out. So I've only got two supports. And then in here, what we've got is all our hardens that we're keeping just for doing catalogue reasons. Elite cards we've still got left. Not many, really not many. Mark Henry, Luke Harper, Jack Swagger, Sami Zayn, Sasha Banks, and then two Hall of Fame, Steamboat, um, Ricky, Ricky the Steamboat Dragon, and uh, Kurt Henning. So, yeah, that's what we got then. In Ultimate, all our events, and these two guys that we're officially right now going to unlock... They are going to be the next things to kind of train away um, and, you know, kind of dispose of because they're, they're not, then, you know, I'm, I'm going to keep everything that I need for catalog. I think there's a good reason to do that and eventually I'll get rid of those as well. But things I've already got pros of and I'm just keeping because, you know, I don't want, I kind of don't want to get rid of them straight away. And these are kind of next in line, I feel, are these two throwback ultimate cards. And then eventually it will probably be Neville, Randy Orton, Bret Hart, and then, you know, maybe Mankind, and then just slowly start getting rid of all of these cards. You know, they, they I have no purpose for them anymore, so yeah. There we go, I've just officially unlocked both of those. We have now got Mae Young. Prode, I know that took a long time, and you know, but I thought that was kind of necessary just to go through... Uh, a, a nice kind of roundup that I haven't done in a long, long time of what I kind of got left card wise. Um, I've gotten a lot, I've gotten rid of a lot of cards, and again, soon I Baron Corbin, Dillinger, James Ellsworth, Cedric Alexander. That's one, two, three, that's four cards here that I don't need. You know, um, Dean Ambrose, and all, and a lot of these cards don't even get into my deck anymore. Yeah. AJ, AJ, like from AJ Styles mode, all of these cards can get rid of. They don't even feature in any of my decks left. But so yeah, eventually my goal is to try and have like a barest minimum of cards. Just keep the cards I actually essentially need. So anyway, what else do we got, guys? Cooking, going on right now on Supercard. We've got a Fusion Chamber, and I've just put this in, and I know you guys have not seen who I got as my Ultimate Fusion, and I'm kind of disappointed. I wanted to get that on camera for you guys. As you know, it's been like four days since my last Supercard video. There was just not enough in, in the game for me to release a video on. Team RTG, we did very, very poor in the team. Uh, I didn't have any motivation or any want to kind of do well in it. Uh, to, in all fairness, Biggie and both The Miz were pros in catalogue. But Biggie, I've been waiting for a second version, well, a second of him, a pro of him for so, so long, and we didn't even get to the ultimate. We were like 40 points off of getting Dean Ambrose. Everyone in the team is at like a mutual kind of stage where we just want a goddamn new tier. Um, so that's what's going on with the fusion, and if you guys want to know who I got, for my uh, ultimate fusion, you, uh, I, I've only had two ultimate fusions, Cesaro and um, Lana. Cesaro about four or five times, which is just insane. But we actually got someone that I hadn't gotten before, and it's about damn time. And that was actually pretty cool. We got Van Dango from uh, from the Fashion Police, and I like I like Van Dango just as much as I like Breezango as well. Not Breezango, Tyler Breeze. Breezango is the tag team name, so I was happy with that, and. Um, he went into a WrestleMania fusion. We're hoping for what well, was still an AJ Styles, even though it'd be a single, or maybe, 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 maybe a Carmella or Nia Jax. Maybe a Bobby Roode could be cool. But no matter what, I'll kind of be happy with anything I get. Alistair Black might be the only one. That I'm, mm, I mean, it'll still be a new card. So. That's what we got with that, and like not much gameplay in this episode, guys. But the next thing we've got is rewards. Battleground rewards, yes, we got a win there. Quite surprising. Um, I I wasn't charged up max for the first time in quite a while, or maybe not, but I always normally get more than 100 charges at least. And it's the first time in a while that I, I got, what, like 40 charges, something like that. Um, but overall, the team did very well in it and did manage to get their charges, so congrats to the team. 
And yeah, sorry that I didn't do great in it or in Team RTG, just lack of motivation, definitely lack of motivation. But let's claim these rewards. Anyways, got more, all my attacks in, got all 15 wins as well actually. Didn't even have to back out of the app, it was pretty easy against them, they didn't really do much. They were a WrestleMania team as well, so it clearly shows that they're not bothered anymore as well. Just, we want a new tier. And let's see who we get. We're looking for John Cena and Roman Reigns, still as usual. I w a Miz would be great, as I just missed out on a pro of him. Uh, apart from that, yeah, let's see what we get. Becky Lynch, okay. Uh, Ultimate Jimmy Uso, our WrestleMania's next. Come on, Roman Reigns or John Cena. I don't, I've never wanted a Roman Reigns more than I wanted right now. Ah, oh, James Ellsworth, wow. Wow, that is shit. That's the worst con in the tier. But the good news is, is we're like one win away or even like come, even if we get like 10,000 points, like, you know, don't even have to win. We're on the verge of hitting 50,000. Thousand battle points, which is pretty mad. Um, seems like seems like ages ago now when Battleground first came out, and I was trying to calculate how many games it would get me just to get to 30, 40, or 50k, you know. And we've made it, so that's pretty cool. Uh, quite an accomplishment. Quite an accomplishment. Uh, so yeah, that's what we got there, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Not too much in it, uh, gameplay-wise, but RTG starting tomorrow. Hopefully, going to get a stream or two throughout the the three days 12 hours i've actually had a couple days off recently and i know it doesn't seem like it i haven't even uploaded or done any streams but yeah i've had like the last two three days off uh for just bad weather here where i live and obviously if it's bad weather i just don't go to work as i work at a swimming pool outdoor as well so it's pretty much it um probably gonna be working or definitely working on friday saturday sunday not sure if i'm working tomorrow or not so yeah if if i'm not definitely gonna get we're gonna get a stream out and uh, if I am, well, we'll see later on then. But thank you so much, guys, for watching. Do drop it a like if you've enjoyed. Not much gameplay, I'm sorry, but tomorrow I'll make up for that with a couple, maybe three games of RTG in tomorrow's episode. Thank you guys so much. Do drop a like if you've enjoyed it. I'll see you guys tomorrow for a brand new episode. So then take care and peace out.